What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about how to plunge infinitely. Well, kinda. So, if you guys don't know how plunge attacks works, which a lot of people actually didn't. I did this in my stream a week or two ago, and a lot of people were like, yo, I didn't know that. So, how plunge attacks work, when you're in the air and you use your attack button, you can plunge. But what people don't know is the window in which you can do it. So, if you guys don't know, you see the height at which Zhongli jumps? A little bit higher than that, and I would be able to plunge. They made that so, if you're standing in a normal area, you cannot plunge. But, if you were to go further down from where you jumped, you can plunge. And what I mean by that is, as you can see on this slope, when I jump, I can't, I can't plunge. But if I move forward just a little bit, I can. So, basically how you would be able to infinitely plunge is all you have to do is be on anything that's not flat ground. Right? And I'm going to be showing multiple ways to do that. So, number one... Since I'm going down a slope, even though I'm barely moving, you can infinitely plunge over and over and over, right? Now, anything like this, yo, you can do it there, here too, right? If you're on top of this, anything that is just a very, very, very small amount higher than the ground or lower than the ground that you jump off of, you're able to plunge. Once again, like I said, and as you can see, like this slope gradually goes down, and even right here, I can still do it, right? Because I'm still going down. Even though you can barely see the slope at this point, you can still do it, right? And that applies to anywhere in the map. No matter where you are, if you jump a little bit, it literally, the area below you, just a little bit lower, you can do it. So, like, right here, I can't plunge, right? But even though I'm still going to technically be on the uh, the pillar, since I'm going to be off of it a little bit, it'll allow me to plunge, right? See? So, even though, see, look, I'm, I'm still on the pillar technically, but since my body was a little bit off the pillar, technically the ground was no longer the pillar, the ground was the grass, and the grass was much further down than where I initially jumped. So, with that being the case, I was able to plunge. Now, um, the reason why I'm dropping this type of video is because obviously with Zhao coming out, a lot of people are talking about plunge attacks. And in his ultimate, you're going to get higher jumps and you'll be able to plunge that way. But what about when you're not in your ultimate? When you're not in your ultimate, you'll be able to do just as many plunges with this trick. So, if you're ever fighting enemies and there's ever anything that's remotely sloped, you'll be able to do it. This right here. Right? And I mean, I guess whenever you first start out, you probably won't notice this type of stuff. But after playing for not very long doing it, you'll recognize that there's almost everything to plunge off of in the game. Right? Literally, the entire game is just not, like, symmetrical as far as the ground goes. Right? Even right here. Right? You go on this little rock. Because it's, it's barely above ground, so your jump radius for the plunge is lower. So, anyways, uh, short video. Just wanted to talk to you guys about that, tell you guys about that, show you guys how to do that. And you can do it with any character, by the way, um, just in case you guys don't know. Right? Every character in the game has the exact same plunge radius. And the plunge radius is a little bit, like, a little, a little, like a millimeter below their normal jump so as you can see i can't do it here but i jump forward well actually i jump forward and i can do it so uh yeah but anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace